Hi there. In this video, I'm just going to answer the question, where is the 3D in ArcGIS Pro? So I'm in ArcGIS Pro, this is 2.6, 261. And um, I've actually got uh, th this SRTM um, raster file, um, which is a GeoTIFF lo loaded here. Uh, as you can see on the left hand side, I've actually downloaded quite a few others that I um, have used for various other um, uh, tutorials, uh, demonstrations, etc. in my channel. And um, I am just going to just look at this one for the moment. This is all, all free stuff, which is the uh, shuttle gathered data. Um, <clears throat> it's actually very straightforward to, to see what I'm seeing here in 3D. So I've got this topographic base map um, and underlying here, as you can see. Um, let's zoom in a bit. And, and if we turn off SLTM, let's see where we are. Let's go to a, uh, maybe something with a bit of water. Let's go to here. This looks interesting. Let's turn that back on. I think it was 39. Yep, there we go. I'll just zoom out a bit. So <clears throat> I'd like to see this in 3D. So what you've got to do is to create a local scene. Now under the view tab, you'll see convert. So you convert that to local scene. Now this will create, as you can see, another window. Let's see, it's called map 3D. Um, mine's called 3D1. I think it's just because I, I created one previously. Um, but as you can see as well, doesn't look 3D to, to me. If you look down the left here, you can see this navigation tool. Let's make it a bit bigger. That's that's pretty cool. Just dragging that corner and making the, the tool a lot, a lot clearer. Very, very useful. If I click on this one, this is a planar navigation. So this is your normal, you know, 2D shifting around, zooming in, zooming out, that sort of thing. Um, looking at status, just turn off that SRTM for a second. So this is it. So you're thinking, hmm, doesn't look very 3D to me. So there's lots of contours there, lots of um, height change. So click on first person navigation. So that's your sort of um, 3D view. So now that I've clicked on that, watch what happens when I move the mouse around. You're actually in a 3D world. And I can zoom in as expected. Um, and I can move the map around. I can also reset using this um, circle controller. So let's go to zoom in a bit. Go to first person. And zoom in with the right hand mouse click and drag the mouse um, holding the left hand mouse button and just drag it up and around and as I'm holding the button I'm maintaining this position in my 3D world so I'm looking sort of down that uh, lake so let's go back to planar and I can left hand mouse button and I can drag the map down to a particular point on my map so this is this sort of 2D controller, that's what the planar um, control is doing. So we're going up this slope here. That's pretty cool. But then when I go to 3D, I can actually do 3D movement in 3D space. I mean, obviously, uh, holding the right hand mouse button locks to that sort of point. And as I hold the right hand mouse button and push the mouse forward and back, I pull away from the view. So, so you just need to play around with these controls and get an idea of, uh, of you know, just, just how it's working. But it, it, the sort of idea is you're at a point and you're looking around. So, but, but that does, let's just go back to this, to 2D, the, the planar movement. There you go, there's some, it's a good view. Uh, so, you, you can obviously have whatever vector on here and drape it and road network. You can do what you like. But what about if you've got better 
especially localized, better 3D information. Well, in fact, I could take my SRTM, you see, which covers that, that same area, and um, drag it as my ground elevation and turn off world elevation. So what, what, what's, happening, ha what's actually happening there is Esri are providing this um, uh, elevation data for you to, um, you can see the elevation 3D from Argus.com. So it's a, it's a train model um, in meters. It's all the rest of the data, WS84, etc. And, and that's where the 3D is coming from. So you don't have to have the 3D information, you know, the demo, you know, or whatever, GeoTIFF with pixel height values. You, you don't have to have that. It, you, it'll just turn on by default the world elevation. But I can override it with my own ele elevation information. And then you can make it sort of um, uh, extract um, a bit better. So you can um, exaggerate the vertical height. So if I go to the ground on elevation services, go to appearance, and then I can do a vertical exaggeration of 1.5, let's say. And now what will happen is you'll get this increased um, vertical exaggeration, 1.5 right across the board, across all the values. So you get a more um, exaggerated height um, sort of information. And there you go, 3D. So don't forget, stick all the layers on, play around with the tools, analysis, etc. Uh, lots of things you can do in this. And um, But I hope that very, very quick, um, short demo gives you all the facts you need to get started. Thank you.